Want to run away from home to the neon world of glamorous showgirls and fantastical mega casinos? Las Vegas is the perfect playground for wide-eyed dreamers and fortune seekers. Slip behind the velvet ropes and into the private lives of some of the greatest storytellers and entertainers in the world. We are Vegas. Team Blake's country sensation from The Voice, Jess Lee. She's a lover of life and giver of encouragement. Do you have a secret talent? <laughs> Jess Lee is no stranger to pain and broken promises, as her heartfelt lyrics often tell. Kick back and enjoy tonight's interview, because nobody does it like Jess Lee. I'm Jess Lee from NBC's The Voice, and without further ado, The V.TV, and I would like to introduce my guest for the evening, world-renowned magician, Tommy Wynn. So I know that you do all types of magic, from sleight yeah. of hand to intricate illusions. So as an entertainer, what is your favorite type of magic to do? My favorite type of magic would be uh, audience participation magic, so where I okay. bring people up from the audience. <clears throat> and, uh, and I love performing sleight of hand magic because I like the way, it's, it's sort of like, um, it's, it's sort of like, a, you know, some people use a stress ball, uh, I use a deck of cards. So I enjoy that, but I love performing. What, it, what really makes me excited is when I'm performing the huge, grand, large scale illusions. And the reason why I enjoy that is because I can feel the energy from the audience when I'm performing. Like, for example, the last show that I did was at Aqua Caliente Casino in Palm Springs. They have right. a beautiful theater there. It's called The Show is the name of the theater. It's about 2,000 seats. And we sold this venue out and I'm standing there in front of 2000 people and I know what's about to take place on stage and they don't. Right. And, that, <laughs> and that's the, the <clears throat> best feeling. And I know that within the next five seconds, I'm going to make a helicopter appear on stage and they don't know it. And I make this helicopter appear and I just hear everybody go wild. Nuts. Yeah, <laughs> and it's it's literally the best feeling. Now you get that out of sleight of hand magic on the screens, but there is there is, I mean, in magic, from my perspective, there's nothing better in the world of magic when you're standing on stage and you make something huge happen on stage and people go nuts over. They're just minds. You blew their minds. Would you be willing to tell us any of your embarrassing moments you've had on stage or maybe Oh yeah, I've had one? so many. Oh yes, yeah, so I cut my finger off on stage and No. Uh, yeah, that like, was cut, fun. clean was, off? Well, it was almost clean off, but I was doing this trick where I was making a card appear inside of the cushion of a chair and I didn't have the knife to cut open the cushion of the chair, so I just used the scissors I had on stage. And I opened the scissors, you know, you know, opened the scissors and held the blade part thinking, hey, it's all right. I'm just going to cut the." And it skipped and wedged my finger in between the chair metal and, the, and it cut my finger. And I walked up on the stage and held my finger up and it was bleeding all over the no. stage. And I said, mm -hmm. ladies and gentlemen, I've just cut my finger. And it's so funny. Copperfield has a very similar story. He cut his finger with a, a rope trick. And all I could think of was that story. And I'm like, how can you cut your finger doing the rope trick? And, and I cut my finger doing a chair, a card and chair trick. And I think I have did it people, on tape. Did some, people take it seriously? They thought, they thought it was part right. of the, the show. I was going to ask because I'd be like, oh, he's just, this is part of the show. Well, and then it's, it's <laughs> sort of like, it's funny because you don't expect that to happen. And my, my sound engineer and my stage techs ran up on stage with gauze oh my and God. tape, wrapped my finger. Meanwhile, they're all thinking this is still part of the show. <laughs> yeah, that they, and then they wrap my finger, and then people catch on, and like so a no. few people are like, oh, wow, he really got hurt. And at that point, continued on, finished the 45 minutes we had left of the show, right. and then went to the hospital afterwards to get stitches. Being a professional magician, um, I know... Like, and, and she were, and your wife works with you too. So she might be a little more yes. like not easily fooled, but do you try to fool her at home or perform any tricks or do anything that I like do? I really, I try and she knows everything. <laughs> she knows how all the, everything works. And I but love you know something? she's my best critic because I know she's not going to BS me. Like I'll, I'll say, Stacy, 
I'll say, what do you think of this? And she'll go, don't show anybody that it's not ready. And she'll be hard on me. And I, I want it to that. be hard on me because she knows that what I'm doing is not just a hobby. It's, it's our career. It's, it's our success because we work together. I mean, you know, when, um, you know, when we do a show together and we talk about doing an illusion, like, it's so funny, like, we'll just be doing stuff around the house and I will, I'll put on a song and I'll say, I'm thinking of this song for this illusion. And she's like, well, I'm thinking of this song for this illusion. And then we're I like, love that. And, and so it's, it's really great. We collaborate together and, um, you know, we perform together thou uh, over a thousand shows. I love you. I love you. <laughs> You're a new daddy. Yes, I am. When your wife performed the greatest magic trick of all and brought a new yes, life into did. this world. <laughs> yes, she did. And it is not boy, easy. Right? Yes, a new baby boy. His name is River. Uh, River I was going to uh, ask River. you his name. Where yeah, is oh, I'm his sorry. Name? No, that's cool. I'm just glad you, I was, I was hoping it wasn't going to intrude too much. So no. his name is River, like a river. Yep, River. What inspired and, that? Now I got to know a backstory. So, so here's the thing. So Stacy wanted, if we were going to have a girl, she wanted to name the girl River Lily. And then we're sitting around one day and I said, Stacy, River's a boy's name. It's a girl's name, but it's also a boy's name. Why don't, it's instead totally of naming, sex. yeah, I said, why don't we name him River? And she goes, mm -hmm. and she stopped and looked at me and she goes, cause it was her idea for the name. It was my idea to name River, River. And, uh, and we went, oh man, that's his name. And, and now that's, that's his name. <laughs> we just, it's River Thomas Ricardo. Our, our real last name is Ricardo. Um, love that that's and my stage name is wind but you know if he ever decides to become a magician river wind is a pretty cool name so well i was gonna ask i was gonna ask you is he are you gonna try to get him into the family business now because that's what this you know, is now <laughs> whatever he wants to do as long as he's happy love that. i'm gonna support him 100 percent. i had a blast with you today uh, it was so much fun thank you so much for taking the time to come chat thank, with me you're an absolute you so blast um, yes so where um, can we all find you uh, the best place to find me, my Facebook is Tommy Wind, uh, is, is just under Tommy Wind is the personal Facebook page. Uh, but most of the time, um, I post most of my show stuff and everything on Instagram, which is uh, at Tommy Wind Magic, I believe. So it's Tommy Wind. You'll find there's a picture of the Lamborghini appearance on there. And it's, uh, I, I have to really learn my Instagram handle. <laughs> <laughs> yes. I know my website, but... Uh, <laughs> Well, and, give us that too, because you probably have your shows uh, listed on Tommy there. Wind, it's TommyWindMagic.com. Perfect. Perfect. Well, you can plan on seeing me at a show when I come out to Vegas. I'm going to be so excited. Hopefully, I'll get to meet you in person and shake your hand. Um, Great. That would be wonderful to meet you. You're the bomb. And guys, that is it for our We Are Vegas interview tonight. I'd like to thank magician Tommy Wind for coming and joining us once again. And if you need more Vegas, get your fix on the V.TV.